Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, guys, I certainly think this is an accident. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, NASA's just released a video today describing a Newton star. A Newton star is what I see there. I even mentioned it yesterday in the video um, uh, signs about the weather patterns, the extreme weather patterns in August 2016. And there was a, a light. Uh, with this blue halo in it, right? Um, <clears throat> that was um, invisible, and it was very bright. And I'm uh, I inst instantly um, uh, uh, recognized it because it's what I saw in my dream, along with two other celestial bodies, a blue and a red one. And uh, NASA have just spoken about this neutron star. Now I said it's a smaller star than our sun, but it's very condensed, and it's got this. Um, um, uh, debris field around it, right? Now, interesting enough, NASA decides to mention a Newton star which looks exactly like the one that I showed, pointed out yesterday in the video, and um, uh, that it's got a debris field and it's very dense, right? Just listen to what they've got to say. And this was posted today, by the way, you can take a look at it yourself. When stars have more than about eight times as much mass as the sun, they end their lives in a spectacular explosion called a supernova. The outer layers of the star are hurtled out into space at millions of miles per hour, leaving a debris field of gas and dust. Where the star once was located, a small, incredibly dense object called a neutron star that's exactly what I saw in my dream. See that really piercing light with blue haze around it? This was posted today, so I, have, I had absolutely no idea. And I made reference to it as soon as I saw it in the video yesterday as well. And this is what I dreamt of on the day of Arafat. In my dream, I saw this star exactly like this, right? And it had two other planetary bodies tailing it, which I saw in our skies. And the dream had a very distinct pattern, and uh, we'll, uh, we won't discuss that, but uh, just so that you know that this is exactly what I saw, and today NASA uh, posted this. I, I, I just don't think it's, uh, you know, serendipity, any sort of like chance or accident. Uh, you know, there's something Allah SWT knows best. Is often found. Now this is a star that we're postulating is next to our sun at the moment. And it's draining the sun of its energy, hence why the three days of darkness part one, two, three, and four. If you read that, you'll understand that from that we're postulating a star is next to our sun and it's drawing the sun's energy. And this is one of the reasons why they're cloaking our sun and using a solar sun simulator so that we can't see that. Because on certain intervals, the sun becomes almost completely dark, right? And um, uh, for maybe half an hour to an hour, right? And we're postulating that there's going to come a stage, at least this is what I'm thinking now scientifically, that uh, it is going to come a point where the sun will become completely dark. And when it does that, that's when the grip, uh, this tug of war, this attraction between the two stars is going to be lost. And then this neutron star, along with its celestial bodies, is going to go back out in its trajectory. And when it does that, that's when we anticipate the... Uh, the really extreme uh, uh, natural disasters that are being referred to in the science document uh, PDF. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best because it's going to uh, catapult itself back out to on its trajectory, right? Um, on its orbit. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. While only 10 miles or so across, the tightly packed neutrons in such a star contain more mass than the entire sun. Did you hear that? It has, it's more condensed and has more mass than our own sun, or any sun for that matter. The supernova remnant, called RCW-103, is a byproduct of one of these explosions. And the neutron star it left behind, known as 1E-1613, is proving to be particularly interesting. For years, astronomers have known that 1E-1613 shows a regular brightening and dimming in its x-rays that repeats about every six and a half hours. It could be a neutron star, 
that is rotating much more slowly than other neutron stars. Or it could be a faster spinning neutron star that has a normal star as a companion. A normal star as a companion, right? So they're talking about a binary system now, which is the one that we're referring to, that our system, our solar system, has a binary star to it, right? And uh, the binary star that we're postulating is a very condensed one, small in size, but very condensed. Uh, in fact, um, more powerful than our sun, right? Uh, in terms of the energy it's putting out. Now they're describing a neutron star, subhanAllah, and saying that usually these neutron stars have a uh, companion star, right? Uh, so, I mean, I think reference is being made to our sun over here. It's just all hidden in plain sight, right? Uh, they mention, they give these subtle hints every now and then, just like the other um, 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 the one on my dreams, um, a, a, a video that I uploaded a, a couple of days ago, in that there was an article in which uh, they mentioned, it's a scientific article, and they mentioned about a star draining, um, uh, uh, our sun losing its um, its uh, uh, energy, right? And it's interesting that they they put these sort of snippets, it's almost like breadcrumbs, you know, where you can connect the trail and the pattern, and they're just putting it out there. You know, and um, you can see it, it's broad, it's, it's as clear as daylight when you start studying um, the data, you see things, you connect the patterns, and you can see exactly where they're going with it. Uh, there's nothing random about it. New data from four high-energy telescopes. Chandra, Swift, New Star, and XMM Newton have shown that the unusually slow spin is the correct explanation and that 1E1613 has the properties of a magnetar. Magnetars are neutron stars that possess enormously powerful magnetic fields, trillions Allah of times Allah greater Allah. than that on the sun. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Honestly, this isn't funny. You know, I'm playing this with you guys. I've not heard this. It's the first time it's just got uploaded right now. Now they're talking about the magnetic force and the pull and its strength. Do you see what they're alluding to, SubhanAllah? This was uploaded today. <laughs> While it is still unclear why 1E1613 is spinning so slowly, scientists do have some ideas. One leading scenario is that debris from the exploded star has fallen back onto magnetic field lines around the spinning neutron star. Now look at this, what's interesting, I want you guys to look at this. There's always reference. Do you see the, the cyan haze, the purple on the, both sides of the sun? There's always been reference of a winged planet, they call it, right? Now, this is, this, this is what explains uh, the, the wings, right? In uh, uh, the um, Egyptian uh, mythology, ancient Egyptian mythology, you'll find it in the Sumerian mythology, you'll find it in the Hopi tribes, they call it um, uh, the, the winged disc. Right, and then you'll find that everywhere else as well in terms of symbolism. Like you'll see it, the black star, which is on the mini, where you see the car mini I'm talking about, uh, or you see it on Chrysler, where you see a, 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 a symbolism of a, a disc with wings. You'll see that everywhere. You'll see that um, the elitists use this uh, this sort of symbolism, uh, which is very occultic in nature. But now, can you see the pattern between this star and having wings and how the dust? Uh, that it ejected uh, basically trace its magnetic fields, right? Its northern and southern uh, hemisphere, which obviously would give you the wing kind of look as you were looking uh, at this star when it's inbound. Causing it to spin more slowly with time. Searches are currently being made for other very slowly spinning magnetars to study this idea in more detail. Okay, guys, look, I'll uh, reduce the screen so that you can see exactly when it was uploaded. 13th of September, published on 13th of September, 2016, space videos. So, I mean, I, <clears throat> I had no no indication uh, whatsoever of this uh, video or the content of it. I came across it, and like I'm saying, this is what's happening since I've had my dreams began eight years ago, is that I saw something and then it related to something very real and some sort of data or some visual images which was exactly what I saw you know and that's how basically I mean it, it continued like that uh, 
in the same thread for eight years now, and those dreams have very, been very, very, very unique in their... Uh, they had a very unique pattern, how they finished, how vivid they were and how they ended, right, was very, very unique, and every one of them were similar in that sense. Although the content of the dream might be different, but the pattern of it, like how vivid and how it ended, was exactly the same. And uh, from that, I would know almost instinctively that this was a dream that had some sort of relevance. And then I would pursue my instinct off the back of what I dreamt. And then I'd stumble across, you know, um, uh, some something more, something that substantiates uh, this whole, the culmination of what you see in the science PDF came about through uh, a series of dreams, all of which have kind of substantiated or led me to, you know, um, uh, certain um, uh, investigations, you know, just research. And uh, then meeting other like-minded individuals or, you know, maybe guys who are basically, basically um, um, uh, professionals in their fields, right? Now, alhamdulillah, you know, doors have been opening like that and it, it seems like this whole thing's coming together and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, we're going to get to see the culmination of what's in the science PDF. Um, a lot of it we're going to see by the end of this year, so we'll get to find out whether there's any haq, you know, any truth to it or not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. This is the very star that I saw in my dream exactly like this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is my witness. And I saw this star, but I also saw a blue and a red planet, celestial body, in our skies with this star, um, uh, at the t uh, just going past. You know, and it was, it was awe-inspiring. You know, the, the vision was, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Then I saw it yesterday in the... <coughs> video that I uploaded science and I said it's some sort of military tech that they're using down here on the ground right uh, uh, but it looked uh, eerily uh, similar to what I dreamt and now today they publish on the 13th this star again and again it has all the characteristics that we've been referring to in the PDF science where it's got a magnetic um, uh, pull uh, where it's uh, impacting the celestial bodies in our solar system where it's draining potentially our sun of its uh, 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 energy, uh, which we just mentioned that it's far more um, uh, uh, stronger uh, uh, than our sun, uh, where it's uh, um, got these wings and it's got a dust cloud. We've mentioned the uh, debris, the comet debris, the trail, right? Then uh, the similarities of it being like the wing disk, which is in all the code references, right? <clears throat> you know, subhanAllah, and then um, uh, along with those natural disasters, as far as I know, they're going to stage an extraterrestrial contact, right? And in that, they're lo looking to uh, uh, um, take swaths of, uh, you know, humanity out of the whole religious um, uh, doctrine, right? That includes Muslims as well, you know? So, I mean, you know, if there's any truth to what I'm saying, then ulama really, really, really need to basically um, uh, look into this. Uh, if they establish that there is a case, then they need to put something together for the ummah and pre or uh, forewarn them, or even at the time of the event, at least let them know that this is exactly what's going on and that it's been planned. And uh, <clears throat> it's been planned a long, long time ago. You know, don't forget Shaitan Lanatullahi has been, you know, he's been, before even Insan was created, been around. So the Nizam, the system of our solar system, they were on Earth, right? The Jinn were on Earth before Insan were. And then all, since the time of Adam Ali Salam all the way to now, right? Uh, Shaitan Lanatullah would know exactly what has happened uh, on the surface of the planet and in the heavens, right? And how it happens and how periodically it happens. It's not uh, too inconceivable to think that the uh, the dark forces, you know, and those allied with them would be scheming and planning uh, around the return of this particular celestial body, which is a, a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there's reason to believe in the Torah that um, this star uh, uh, was mentioned, uh, which caused, interestingly enough, uh, in the Torah it says it caused the, the floods of Nuh alayhi salam. 
and we can see the relationship right now. We see in the storms and the floods because our atmosphere is uh, being uh, 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 disrupted by this star's incoming passage, right? Due to its magnetic and gravitational uh, influence. And um, it, it not only is it doing that, but also it's heating up the Earth at its core, which is then heating up the magma, and magma then heating up the crust, and the crust then warming up the oceans, which is then, you know, precipitate uh, uh, condensation, and then the uh, clouds and the storms are created, and then it comes inland, and uh, we've got the flash floods, right? And we we understand from what we read about uh, the floods of Nuh alayhi salam that it, it came from the heavens and from the grounds. Right, but then we've got the whole like the crust, uh, the seismic plates shifting because of the magma becoming excited because the core is heating up, right, and that affecting the crust again, and in uh, this instance causing you know uh, earthquakes, the tectonic plates to shift, and then you've got Cascadia rising and the American military drill and so many other landslides that you witnessed whilst I've been engaging with you guys and sharing the content with you just in the last few months you've seen how many earthquakes we've had and how they're increasing by the way right and that suggests that this star is getting closer to us right and when that happens the earth crust will lift and the ocean's water will lift just like the tsunamis and come inland right so scientifically it can be explained as well now I'm assuming from hadith that we're not going to get the extent of flooding that we that was experienced at the time of Nuh alayhi salam because that we understand that everything was covered in water. But um, what we have been told is a lot of natural disasters will occur, and I certainly think that this is the asbab through which Allah subhanahu wa taala may cause it, and Allah subhanahu wa taala knows best. But it, it's a very it's a primary candidate for it, right? But it's not just this, it's not just the natural disasters, more importantly, the Iman of the Ummah is at stake here, right? A swaths of them, forget what they did with Darwinism, forget what they did with evolution uh, theory, forget what they've been doing with science, right? Uh, there's a huge plan here, and there's, uh, in the Surah, right? Allah, they meant, uh, in the same Surah, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they plan, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also plans. Right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners in the same surah about the star. Right? Nations are mentioned which are destroyed. Um, uh, you know, the wahdaniyat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the risal of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned. Right? The star, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by it. Yeah? Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions how every soul has someone watching over them, as in a, 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 an angel assigned to them. Ajib, you know, ajib, honestly, ajib. And then, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in conclusion, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners, right? Uh, it, it seems like they've been they're scheming uh, uh, around the incoming passage of this particular star, and this is going to be almost a prologue to the Jalla Nutanallah appearing. And this whole dialogue with extraterrestrial and then the Pope uh, talking about, you know, christening the Space Brothers, their uh, telescope Lucifer uh, in the Arctic, this is from the Vatican. And then you've got the United Nations appointing a space ambassador to communicate with alien beings as and when they make contact. You know, then you've got Hillary Clinton recently saying that I believe that um, there's something going on at Area 51 and extraterrestrial life exists. Then you've got the Canadian uh, defense head, uh, military head, uh, uh, retired, saying that I've seen um, extraterrestrial life form and um, communicated with them. You know, uh, then you've got astronauts coming to the fore saying the same thing there's a and then you've got the media and there's there's too many things i can just go on and mention it but we need to uh, home in on this because the ummah is taking it i mean alhamdulillah thumma, alhamdulillah ulama, mashallah you know alhamdulillah they, they 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 they've got their hands full with the knowledge and the deen and you know um uh, shepherding their flock you know subhanallah they're overwhelmed already and mashallah bless them they, they basically don't expose themselves to this sort of stuff so i mean for them to even know or you know uh, pick up patterns and stuff like that it's they, they can only you know they, they've only got some you know they're human beings like us subhanallah you know they, they, they've got their own uh, commitments and uh, their dini commitments as well which overwhelms their time and stuff right so i mean quite a lot of this could be easily missed right um, so I mean, it's it's basically just um, drawing their attention to it, and maybe they can then, inshallah, ta'ala, look into it and see what's going on. But look, what were the chances of this? Look it up yourselves. The Chandra Telescope tour of the RCW103, remnants of a supernova, the date of when it was, which is today, 
and how eerily similar it is. Not only the star, honestly, it's it's what I saw in my dream. Jazakallah khairan wa sunnah jazakallah wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.